about it, all I can tell you is, is that it's just down here, every single night they will walk around in circles and dance. I'll come and show you. I will stay silent for most of this video as there is quite a lot of people here and I don't wish to look insane. So, bear with me. Uh, also, I'd like to point out that I'll just look at here. If you look over here at this building here, so this building here, that's my workplace. So let's have a look around the square. I'll do a nice little loop for you. If we will have a look around this way, the centre walkway there has like a fountain that goes all the way along its length. I've only seen it working about three times. And this here, as you can see, is a big statue. Uh, S L O F stands for Shengli Oil Field. And Shengli has lots of things. They have their own television channel, their own petrol station, their own bank. Lot of stuff. So I'll come around here now. Now the building dead ahead of you is my workplace, uh, it's actually the Xinhua bookstore but uh, on each floor there's a different um, company. Our school is on the seventh floor, there is a cinema on the third and fourth floor and some other schools as well. Now this bit we're coming on to is the bit that they walk around every night. And I'll do a quick lap for you. Again, sorry about the wind wind is always quite bad on Chengli Square because it's quite where well, it's very open. This bit we're cycling here towards, um, this is where the old people will dance every, all, at night too. We're going to cycle past some young lads here, so they may have something to say. Let's have a look. God knows what they will say. This bit to your left here. This bit's where they walk around. A big group of them walk around for about five hours every day. That street there is the main street through this part of the city. That's Jinan Road. Go to your left here. You can see the main part of the square. That is Jinan Road heading eventually towards Shi Wu Road, which is about two, three blocks of that. Oh, my belt went ding again, didn't it? Now I'm going to put the camera here and turn around. camera up here so you can have a nice look.
Here we go. So this is showing me square. Like I said, I don't know much about the place. I can't give you much information about it. But uh, any comments, you're more than welcome to leave comments. Now what I'll do is we're going to go down this way and into the underground area. So I'll take you there now. Okay guys, so let's get down the stairs. Here we go. <coughs> this is uh, the bottom of the square. There's a car park here also. Now I've been here for two years and I've never seen those escalators work. That's a nice advertisement for a guitar. Hmm. That instrument you see, the instrument you see on the wall up there, that is a Huljang. That's a traditional Chinese instrument. As we go in here, this is some guy's uh, remote control shop. Here is a pool hall. This has actually been here since I've been here. That pool hall has been here since I've been here, but it's been recently redone and it looks really nice. This is going down towards the toilets. I won't go down there because they actually smell really bad. Yeah, that pool hall is very good. They charge 20 quai an hour. So the main part of that is like a ballet, a dance school, uh, ballet dancing and that kind of thing. We'll pop back up onto the top of the square now. So let's just have one more look. That's the underground place. Oh, some kid doing kung fu. media dragon. So here we are. This is Shengli Square or Victory Square. Quite a 
and I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember if you like the videos, please feel to subscribe. Cheers. Thank you. For a moment I didn't think I'd be able to get up here, but I can. Um, this building here is a shopping mall. I'm on the top floor. I'm going to pan around now. And you're going to see on the road to your left is Jinan Road. And this is the view from the top of the building. There we go. Uh, I'm not sure what this building is. Actually, I do know what that is. I'm sorry. That's the... Where is it? I'm not sure if that's a large hotel. Is that the big... Yes. This is a large hotel. Um, I've been there for breakfast before. It's quite nice. This here is a school or a college with a playing field. Now this here is a shopping mall right here. Um, it, it was abandoned actually and there, there it is here. It used to be abandoned and I've got an old video of uh, me riding around it when it was abandoned. Um, and yeah, it's very interesting. <coughs> now, if you remember in my very first video when I was at the mud houses, mud houses are down that way. If you can see in the background, you should see two chimneys around about there. They're the big power, that's a big power plant on Nan Alu. Uh, this road, let me get my bearings correct. This road here, you can't see it obviously, but it's Qingdao Road. That goes towards my house. My house is just over, just over here. Um, if you look down here, down in the little gap here, there's a place. You can see it actually, it's the little grey place there. That's where me and my friend go for lunch. It's Malatang, which is Chinese soup. Chinese soup is basically a water-based soup with some oils and some spices and then they add things to it like vegetables, like meat noodles. And it's really nice. <clears throat> and that place, I think it's called Jiu, uh, Jiu Pu Malatang. And you can add, you can make the dish as expensive or cheap as you want. Uh, there you can see the Dong Ying Bank. Um, now, over this way here is in that di roughly in that direction there is Shida Fu Xiao. That is a uh, university complex that also has a primary school. In fact, I think it has two of them. But I teach at one of them uh, usually once one day a week. I have three classes on that day and it's great i'll get a video for you of that place yeah um and don't worry that was a that was a person just coming out the door um now this here is shi san lu which goes down to my house and shi nan lu here goes all the way up here now there's a river that runs diagonally across here that goes all the way down here and there is a park up this way. I'll show you the park too. It's a lovely little park actually. It's a very relaxed place to go. Um, and it is a very nice place for me to go as well on my bike. It's quite a smooth area. Um, there are quite a lot of things I will actually show you in this little series. I've decided to make the first series just six episodes long. Uh, this is the second episode obviously, uh, the first part was Victory Square, this part is just the area around Jinan Lu and the Dongdu shopping area which actually this technically this shopping mall here is the beginning. The main Dongdu building is uh, just behind this building, it's a big shopping area, they're currently redeveloping it, you should be able to see all the stuff down here now and all these cranes in the sky. Uh, I would like to take the camera into Dongdu as well and show you inside Dongdu because it's quite a fascinating place. It reminds me of like an indoor version of um, Camden Town but you have just household stuff in there as well as DVDs and art supplies and clothes and bedding and uh, books and everything. Um, and also in this direction too is um it's actually more in this direction i'm sorry on huang Hulu, that's yellow river road there's a park called the culture park now that is uh i would say a good four or five blocks possibly six blocks up this way and i will show you that too there's also a lovely rest um, hotel there called the lan hai it's also the blue horizon that's what that is the blue horizon hotel i'll show you that place and also just a block further up from that is a fun fair which i will show you too 
there is also an old fun fair literally just uh, down the road this way here you can't see it obviously there's a building in the way um, and this little uh, building complex here I use as a shortcut as you can see the road here it goes out to Dong, this Dongdu area here and I can go all the way down this road up to the main road in, in, in West Dong Ying Jinan Road because there's a guitar shop right up here and I get my strings from there uh, and also in this direction as well uh, is another little road which cuts through to like this there's some form of um, chemistry or chemical buildings research center and it comes out on Qingdao Road which is very convenient because it means I can cut quite a lot of uh, time from my journey I'm trying to think maybe there's anything else I can show you that's in view that's interesting um, at the moment I can't think of anything at the moment um, I will eventually take you to go and see um, some stuff the opposite way here it's just a piece of the countryside that I like to go to on along a, a train track uh, I'll show you that too so this has been the second episode of uh, Victory Square and the area around Jinan Road and Dong and Dongdu I'll actually technically I'm titling this part the area around Dongdu part one because in my uh, one episode I will spend an entire episode taking you around Dongdu which of course is just begins here and goes all the way down there well this is Xiaobai I don't know how well that camera looks on me there I'll scroll out to this uh, for this second episode I hope you enjoyed it if you like the videos please feel free to comment on them like I said I always make sure that I approve the comments before I um, allow them as I don't want any racist or offensive comments and if you like the channel and the videos please feel free to subscribe thank you very much and I'll leave you with a pan of this part of Dongyang.